In this video, we'll show you exactly how Nano Banana runs inside NA10 with a real workflow example. You'll see step by step how a simple form submission can go through Nano Banana, process the data, upload media, and even create a post automatically. And by the end, you'll be able to download this exact workflow and test it yourself. Now I'll let Manu walk you through exactly how this one works. Hey, so I want to show you this workflow and I hope it will be useful for a lot of you. It has been for me already. My goal today is to show you as how to use uh, Nano Banana, the trending new image generating AI that is super powerful in an A10. So I played a bit around. There is an API, of course, but it's not uh, straightforward to use Nano Banana in an A10. So this is how I did. Probably you will find other solutions that works also. This one works for me. So I built this little workflow that we are giving for free. You will find the link in the description. So you don't need to copy every step and try to reproduce it. You just need to click in the link in the description and get your free workflow that will be fully set up and I will show you how it works. So it's very simple. So what this workflow is doing is starting with a simple form and generating the image with Nano Banana, extracting the image from the response and using it in the workflow, uploading the media to Blotato so it's ready to be shared on the social networks and posting the image on Twitter, this on X. So this is what this very simple workflow does. And of course, you can adapt it uh, freely and those nodes will be what you will be willing to use the most and the rest is just for demonstration. Okay, so let's start to play around. Let's execute this step. Simple form where I can write the post I want to share. So look at this banana and here the image prompt I want to use. So a beautiful banana in low poly. This is what I want to describe. So I submit. Okay, so the workflow starts. I receive here the post and the image prompt. So I can move to the second node here uh, where I receive the post and the image prompt and use them in this. So this is the payload to generate an image with the Nano Banana API from the Google AI Studio. So uh, there are several ways to uh, use Nano Banana in an API and I use Google APIs. I think it's simple. So you, what you will need is an API key. Your API key will be displayed, it needs to be passed here. And to get an API key, you need to go to Google AI Studio, AI studio.google.com and go to get API key here, create API key, choose the project you want to use, create API key in existing project, Copy this API key. Of course, you don't need to copy mine. Don't try, I will remove it, of course. So I passed it here and I execute the step. So I have one field in the header with the API key, one field with the content type application JSON and below in the body, a JSON with uh, the prompt. Here you see that we are passing the prompt from the previous node. And this is the response. We see that we have no picture. We have this data here, uh, and this is what we are using. So this is exactly why we need the next node, the code node. The code node receives the response from Google A AI Studio, from the API, and will extract that and turn it into uh, a binary file that our workflow can use. So. I have this code here that does that, that checks if there is a MIME type, etc. And it does that. I did not code that myself. Of course, I asked that GPT and it worked very well. Look, so I wait a few seconds and I have my beautiful uh, banana in low polygon in my workflow. I can download it and use it, of course. So now it's in the workflow. Then we have the Blotato node that will upload this picture to the Blotato server. So it's uh, easy to use it and to post it on the different social networks. So it takes the image and it returns a URL. So 
the image is uploaded. Perfect. And the last node here will publish the post on Twitter. And done. Our image is posted and our, our workflow has generated an image with Nano Banana and posted it to Twitter thanks to Blotato. I hope you will make a good use of this workflow. Let me know in the comment if you have other questions or idea of workflow that we could build and give away for free. If you want to try this exact workflow, you don't need to rebuild it. Just click the link in the description, download the file and import it straight into your N8N. It's ready to go. The same workflow you just saw in action. If you found this workflow useful, make sure to subscribe.